here's Mindy and today we're checking out this little devil. We're all familiar with Apple's AirPods. Some of us probably own Generation 1 or Generation 2, but there's just one feature that makes Gen 3 worth the upgrade. Spatial audio. So what exactly is that? You know when you're in the theaters and you have that all around you soundtrack playing just before the movie begins where sound comes from the right, from the back, from the left, from the front, from the top even? Spatial audio is exactly that. It's that immersive surround sound experience. And the unique thing about Apple's spatial audio is that it tracks your head movement and the position of your iPhone, iPad, so that whether you're turning or tilting your head or repositioning your device, the dialogue, the music will be anchored to the screen. That means that if I have my phone here playing music to my AirPods and I turn to the right, it would sound like the music is coming from the left. And if I position my phone in front of me, now the music would sound as though it's coming from the front of me. It's a very different experience and it sounds pretty realistic. But how does Apple do it? How do these babies actually work? Three things. I did some research. First, we need the sound engineers to remix the soundtrack, map the individual audio pieces to a specific point of a three-dimensional space where the artists, engineers, producers can decide where to place the voice at the front, at the back, at the side, as well as the distance so that the voice seems further or closer to us. And within the AirPods itself, there's a directional audio filter technology which digitally adjusts how sounds are played so that they bounce in our ears in such a way that they appear to be coming from different directions. And finally, there's gyroscope and accelerometer sensors in these AirPods that actually track our head movement in relation to our iPhones, our iPads, our Mac. Essentially, with this, your brain is tricked into thinking you're receiving sound from a 3D space when you're only receiving sound from this. And this tech is really cool because in the past, to create surround sound system like this, you need firstly at least three, five or seven speakers placed strategically around you. And number two, you need that specialized version of your favorite album mixed for surround sound. But now you get that surround sound in just these two tiny earpieces, and that's what makes this worth the upgrade. But enough of the technical details, from my personal experience, I can definitely say that spatial audio is my favorite feature. It changes the way I listen to music. I feel like I'm in a theater, a concert, a cinema. It's a very immersive listening and watching experience. Hate tracking is very smooth, natural and accurate. And I love watching movies with this. However, I have read that some people just don't like using spatial audio to listen to music. Yes, I would say when you turn on spatial audio, there is a slight drop in punch, but just by a little bit. On the upside, with spatial audio, music actually sounds more spacious. It feels like there's a wider sound stage. When I close my eyes, I can almost imagine Taylor Swift singing in front of me. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Spatial audio gives me serious concert vibes. So the next question is probably where can you enjoy spatial audio? Well, for music, I tested all too well and by far the best experience was listening on Apple Music. Bass is powerful, vocals are extremely clear. You can turn on spatial audio for Spotify, but it will ruin the music. Yes, there is a bit of surround sound vibes, but the bass is non-existent. It's very focused on the travels. It's just not very good. You can enjoy spatial audio on the YouTube app or on Safari. The audio quality is not as good as Apple Music, but it's much better than Spotify. I tested my favorite shows from Netflix and Disney Plus. You get to enjoy spatial audio on the Netflix and Disney Plus apps on your iPhone, iPad, or on Safari. And I love it. It feels like I'm enjoying surround sound in the theater. But my favorite thing is to turn off the lights and watch shows with this on my Apple TV. With the huge screen and the spatial audio, it feels like a true cinematic experience. So yeah, can't believe that spatial audio lives in this tiny tech at this price. If you're due for an upgrade from the AirPods 1 or 2 because maybe your battery is dying, AirPods 3 is a super worthwhile upgrade. For 50 bucks more than AirPods 2, you enjoy spatial audio. Plus, it does have a slightly better battery life, better audio quality, and MagSafe charging case. Although, do note that the size of the earbuds is slightly bigger than the AirPods 1 or 2. However, I have no complaints, there's no discomfort with the AirPods 3. But if you're looking for active noise cancellation, you might want consider the AirPods Pro. I'll be making an every AirPods compact video very very soon so stay tuned, subscribe so that you don't miss out. I hope you found this video helpful. Did I manage to convince you? Is spatial audio worth it? Does it make this worth it? Let me know in the comment section below. Links below if you want to find these babies. Take care, stay minty and cheery. Goodbye!